What's going on, folks? It's your man Pat down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start on this Creative 4D Venator model. Um, Venator class Star Destroyer. This thing's going to be pretty nice, man. I mean, that's my 18 inch laptop right there. You see how big this box is. Got a direction set. I'm taking a break from doing the Death Star right now. Um, I'm doing fiber optics on the Death Star and. I'm going to tell you, man, fiber optics is not as easy as it looks. So I'm just going to take a break on this one right now. I'm kind of burnt out on that one. So I'm going to go ahead and start on this one. Um, as you see, that's the light cruiser right there from 4D Creator. And that is the Star Destroyer from 4D Creator uh, that comes with the shuttle as well. But, I mean, these models are super, super detailed. You see that light cruiser on the bottom? There's the big death, the Star Destroyer from the bottom. I mean, look at that detail, man. You can't beat that for the price. Um, I caught these on sale, so I went ahead and bought two of them. I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm just going to go ahead and build one. And we'll keep one, maybe we'll light it up with fiber optics. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and get started with this one. And let's see what we can do. Another quick point is you might want to use, keep you some rubber bands on hand because on pieces like this that need, um, if you're going to glue them like I do, and I would recommend gluing a lot of these pieces, um, once you glue them, you can hold them together with that rubber band that puts the perfect amount of pressure on them. You can control the amount of pressure you put on them and it uh, just makes them more, for a much, much more uh, flush flush connection but like I said rubber bands and Elmer's clear glue are going to really help you on these projects and the drying time is pretty reasonable too so it's usually about 30 minutes for a full dry so all right let's keep it going this here is probably a good example of uh, which you'll be using the rubber bands and the glue for these engine on uh, the cells are they're really hard to get on but you're going to need glue and pressure for them to to uh, be really solid and put on all right so here we are exactly a week later um and here she is completely built i mean look at that look at the detail on that check out all the engines look at that how awesome is that we got the the, the the detail on it, man. Control towers. You got your guns, your emblems. So so crazy. It took me a little bit longer um, because I I glue mine and I use rubber bands to bind some of the parts. Um, just so you just get a more durable model. You know, this thing I can pick it up now and, and nothing will happen. If you don't glue it, I'm sure if you shake them something will fall off but it's crazy how you go from this box here to a full-blown ship um, all together this thing is about 28 29 inches long um, as you can see that's my 15 inch laptop over there so this thing is dwarfing this thing in size so um, it should be a nice addition um, to my light destroyer up here and my Star Destroyer here. Um, since I get this thing hung up on it, I'm going to do some pictures. But, um, yeah, look at that, man. The detail is incredible, man. Um, right now, I actually saw these on Amazon for like 29 bucks. So, if you're going to get on them, <clears throat> now would definitely be the time. Um, I think regular price might be 50 bucks. Um, here, I'll give you under... Let me give you an underview. It's on the stands right now. Um, like I said, I, I did glue mine together, so mine is super durable. Turn it around. And that's how the underside looks. Pretty awesome, right? I mean, this is awesome, man. I mean, for the price and what you get, it's, it's incredible, man. <clears throat> absolutely incredible um 4d creative i love what you're doing here 
I mean, and, it's, and the possibilities are endless. I, I can't wait to see these guys go bigger and bigger. I'm working on a, um, a Death Star, but I'm using fiber optics. So I figured I'd take a break from that to, to work on this. So I went ahead and completed this. Like I said, it took me a week. <clears throat> I used rubber bands and Elmer's glue. And um, that makes it quite, quite durable, I'm telling you. You'll thank, you'll thank me later for it. But, um, I mean, you guys, 4D Creative, keep it coming. I love it. The, the, the possibilities are endless. The details incredible, and if you're if you just want like models for display, I mean you can't beat this, man. The next option up is the Lego, and I mean you're talking six hundred bucks, man. So, you know, thank you for the creative. Um, like I said, you guys need an ambassador or something? Let me know. Thanks, guys. It's your man Pat, and I'm out.